Good morning, bishes. It's 5 a.m. and a bish really needs to pee, so you know, I normally just wake up and go take a piss and then sit on the toilet and realize all the shit I have to take care of throughout the day, so I just decide to stay up and just do things. But don't worry, I assure you, I get at least six to eight hours of sleep a night. Hello, bishes, or should I say good morning, bishes? Because this is the first time we've ever spent a morning together and you're gonna see what it's like in a day in the life of me. So I normally like to start off the day with doing something really easy, fun, and doesn't require too much brain energy to do. So right now I'm editing a page for the Succubishes book in preparation for Lightbox Expo. And basically doing this task is just super chill and easy to do. It doesn't require me to draw or do anything completely complicated. I'm just putting images together while putting on a good podcast, a good song, or a good video, and just listening to things as I'm just starting to get my brain active. Hello again from the other mirror, but um, yes, yeah, so I'm currently working on the manuscript or the PDF files for the Succubishes book while just listening to some music. And honestly, this is one of the most relaxing parts of my days. Like even though it's still work, I feel like it's just very therapeutic for me to just like put images together and just listen to music or put on a YouTube video and just be putting pieces of something together without having to do it from scratch. But you know, I'm also a lazy ass bish. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go make some coffee and breakfast now and yeah. So this is the current brand of coffee that I'm using, which is uh, called Double Dead Dark Roast Coffee that I got from Alaska. I don't know, I just like the way it tastes and it's very dark and strong. And yeah, um, yeah, I just like the way it tastes. Like, I know, sorry, weird flex, but okay, bro, like, or whatever the kids are saying these days. Anyway, welcome back to the Food Network channel with Mew Tripled, where today she will be making scrambled eggs with random shit on top of a toast. So we start off with putting the onions in the pan. Then next, you want to wash the mushrooms and then place them in the pan because you want to get all that shit off before you start eating just fried shit, I guess. So yeah, you just stir that shit around and I have said shit too many times and you sprinkle that shit with salt. Then you also put some pepper on it, then you stir it some more and you eventually crack in some eggs because that's where the real protein comes in, okay? And you put in some tomatoes, stir it some more and you have a toast. So after I finish cooking, I finally get to eat my food, have some coffee, and just chill for a hot second before the rest of the day unravels. So I just posted a comic I did for my friend's birthday, and yeah, I sometimes just spend my mornings just posting shit and just reading y'all's comments, and after that, I don't ever read them again. I will read them in the beginning few hours after I post it, but after like two days after I post it, I kind of just never look back on the post, also because it kind of gets toxic when you look at hate comments and just absorb yourself into them, so i just rather post something just read the first few comments within the first few hours and then move on with my life. But I appreciate everybody's support, but yeah, it's just kind of fun to just see the reception within the first hour or two. So I just finished getting ready and guess what guys? My period came, so it's always good to know that I am not pregnant because that is the last thing I need in my life right now. So yeah, I've gotta be grateful for the small things that happen to you every day. That's how you're gonna get through life happily through gratitude, but otherwise I'm gonna start going to work now and that commute to Hollywood is not fun, but also just so you know, I cannot really show much of what I do at work just because I signed an NDA, I don't wanna get fired. So I'm gonna head off to work now and I'll see y'all in a bit.
So before I start working, I just like to get settled down, get some water, and then put on a good podcast or video to play in the background as I work. Normally the mornings are my prime time grind time and after 3pm it's a completely different story. But yeah, today was a really chill day because all I had to do were just revisions so it was nothing too stressful. So I'm currently taking a break from work and I'm probably going to head out to lunch soon with my coworkers. But yeah, today is a pretty uh, chill day at work where I'm just doing revisions because I pretty much just finished my boards and I'm going to be launched on a new sequence like tomorrow. So I'm pretty much just doing revisions now and for those of you who don't know what revisions are, just basically when you apply the notes that the director gives you to your boards and you just kind of fix it and honestly for me if you get like very easy notes it's very therapeutic because all you have to do is just like do these small tweaks put on some music put on a good podcast I don't know and you're just having a chill time I think I'm gonna head off to lunch maybe have Thai food so my co-workers and I went out to Thai food for lunch and normally I would bring in my own lunch because bitch I cannot spend money on lunch every goddamn day but today was a special day where we just caught up on life so it was just really nice and relaxing so after lunch is when we go back to work and this is honestly the most difficult part of the day for me because 1 to 3 p.m. is always a very sleepy time period for me so I'll normally just spice up my afternoon by making a tea, going out for coffee or whatever and just remembering to take breaks whenever I need them. So I'm just taking a little break from work right now and if you hear a lot of sounds I think People are having a happy hour or party. I'm just chilling right now. Uh, I just finished all my revisions. So honestly, I'm kind of done for the day. And it's really nice, honestly, just to be done with your stuff early. Shameless self promo, but this is my Succubicious mug that you can get from my Etsy shop. This was actually just a test order that I got because I just wanted to see how the mug would turn out. I just bring it to work and just drink tea with it. So I think I'm just gonna eat dinner and then afterwards probably head out to my kickboxing class and just go back home and do my other stuff. I'm excited to leave soon, not because I hate my job, but just because I'm ready to, you know, move on to the next part of my day. <laughs> so towards the end of the day is when I'll just mark down all the things that I've drank, ate, check off whatever I've done or still need to do. And it's just a little good little reflection moment for me at work before I eat dinner and leave. So I just finished work and now I am waiting for my Uber to come so that I can go over to my kickboxing class. So yeah, even though nothing really stressful happened today, it's always good to just go there and just clear my mind of any other small negative thoughts. So yeah, uh, I'll see y'all later in my class. gym but I got so fucking tired in my uber that I might die in today's workout. Nice, right, get it on the phone. Yes, fight it out, let's go. Nice, come on. Push. Yes, ladies, let's go, come on. Yes, come on. Nice, up top. Hello, bitches. It's me. You might not recognize me just because, you know, I might got some shit on my face, but you know, sometimes in life, if you want to look less shitty, you got to look more shitty. But yeah, uh, so I just came back from my kickboxing class and I am now just depurifying my skin from all the fucking sweat I shat out of my face. Um, so I think tonight I'm just going to edit a vlog that I did a long time ago. But by the time you're watching this video, it's already posted. It's my Japan vlog. And then afterwards, probably just doodle and work on a comic or something and then go to bed. But also, I just want to make a little disclaimer. Like, look at me. Look at me. Are you looking at me? Okay. I just want to remind y'all that just because you're working on stuff or whatever doesn't mean like, yeah, you gotta fucking work yourself to death in order to like be a productive, valid human being. Like, the reason why I just do this shit is just because 
I don't have the time in the day to do the things I normally would want to do just because I have to go to work and not saying that I hate my job or anything. Like obviously in a perfect universe we would all want to just do the shit we want to do on our own or just make our own stuff and obviously I can't just like do that at work so the only time I have available to work on my own stuff is after work and before work so that's why I just do these things before I go to work and after I come back from work and it doesn't make me stressed out it doesn't like make me feel pressured it's just me just doing the shit I like doing obviously if you feel pressured by the stuff that you're doing after and before work, maybe you should stop doing it and look for something that you would want to do before and after work. Like, I stopped doing freelances because I don't got time for that shit, okay? But I'm gonna go work on my vlog and then just doodle a comic and I'll see y'all later. So my face has further crustified and I am now just eating some yogurt with berries and just some nuts while I edit my Japan vlog, don't judge me for using iMovie, okay? I normally use Premiere Pro, but my laptop has been really slow lately and iMovie just takes a lot faster to render than Premiere and I just need to shit this shit out, okay? Hello again. Um, so now I have gotten even more crusty, but hey, it's okay, you know? Um, anyway, I finished working on my vlog, but now I'm just working on another comic and just doodling some fun memories from my Alaska trip and drawing these comics really helped me come to terms with the end of good times in my life so yeah that was really deep when I do this I just like to put on a podcast or a video or just something to make me feel like someone is there why is my eyelid doing this shit okay this is the struggle of asian people y'all like this eyelid sometimes wants to just become a monolid or a, a double lid and i'm just like bitch make up your mind and yeah i think after this i'm just gonna get ready and go to bed so lastly i will make my way to bed and normally during this time my boyfriend will call me so we'll whisper nasty things into each other's ears but i will save y'all from listening to that shit so thank you for watching a day in my life i will see y'all in another video so good night bitches